Hello, let's continue our Sudoku adventure with Open Systems by Palfly Campling. So we have normal 6x6 Sudoku rules, that means in every row, every column, and every 2x3 box, we are placing the digits 1 to 6 exactly once each. We also have these blue lines in the grid, the thick blue lines are region sum lines. So what you do is you divide them up by which box they're in. So maybe I'll make that green and that purple just to show it's divided. So the line gets divided by which box it's in, and then within each box, the sum of the digits on the line are the same. So the sum of the green digits is the same as, this, as whatever this purple digit is. Or if we would take this as an example, these three digits sum to the same as these three digits. We also have these sort of peach, thinner peach lines in the grid. These are entropic lines. So you take any, adjacent, any three digits that are adjacent on the line, like these three, these three, these three, the overlapping sets of three digits. And if you, no matter which three you highlight, whichever three you look at, there's going to be one of each of a low, medium, and high digit. So there'll be one that's one, two, one that's three, four, one that's five, six. So maybe this is one, this is three, and this is five. And that would work fine. Or this could be a six, this could be uh, not two, this could be a four, this could be a two. Or we could swap these, right? But th these set, this set of three that I highlight need to have one of each. Same with this set of three and this set of three. All right, and that's it. Those are the rules. There's a link in the description if you'd like to try the puzzle yourself. And I'm going to get started right now. This is, this is a, um, a gimme here, because what is the minimum that three digits can add to? Well, if we put the smallest three different digits in here, it's one, two, three, that adds to six. And six happens to be the biggest digit we can put here. So this is the smallest this can be, and this is the biggest this can be. That's the only choice. So we get one, two, three, six here. That does put um, four, five, six here. And something I'll point out is that, and this can't be the six, right? But something I'll point out is this can't be five, six, because that puts two highs next to each other on our entropic line, and that's not allowed. So this has to have the four in it, which means this is ends up the five, which means this is a four, six pair. Uh, so it kind of bounces around and resolves itself. Um, so this set of three, has a medium and high, but it needs a low, so this has to be the low. Same with this set of three needs a low, so that's the low. Now, we, we don't know whether this is going to be medium or high, but we know both of these are not low. So I'm, I'm actually going to write three, four, five, six here. Um, oh, okay, so this will resolve it, because this couldn't be the five or six. So this is a mid, um, and or medium. I, I say mid sometimes. I don't know which one's better. Mid is easier to say. All right, so... Um, the thing to understand about in, in tropic lines is that they're go always going to go in the same order. Uh, we don't, we, the order is defined by the first, you know, whichever three we find the order first, but um, it's going to cycle is, is my point. So let's use, um, let's use purple for medium. Let's use blue for low. And um, so this is also blue. And then we'll use orange for high. Now, these three digits or these three are adjacent, we already have a purple and a blue, so the only color left we can have is orange, and that makes this have to be a high, so that's six, that's four. Now if you think about these three digits, it has the blue and the orange, so it's gonna need a purple. And now these three digits have one of each, now these three digits have a purple and a blue, so we need an orange, so this has to be the five. Um, and so you'll notice it always rotates through them in some order. So in this case, we go purple, blue, orange, purple, blue, orange. And tropic lines are always going to do that because if you noticed as I went and overlapped, I was going to have two of the previous, so I need that third that I didn't highlight to be repeated again. Um, I don't think I need to color these, though. I don't think that's worth um, the, the time spent, <laughs> to be honest. Uh, this row does need a five. This five says not there, so this is the five. Uh, and this is the other one, two, three that's missing from these. Um, okay, so this is a region sum line. Maybe there's something going on here. So this, this can't be any bigger than four, um, but it also can't be one or two because we can't have two digits add to one or two. So this is three or four naively, but if this was actually a three, this would have to be one, two, and we'd have too many one, twos in the, in the box. So actually this has to be four. This is a one, three pair, and that resolves these. This is two, this is four. This is not two. Okay, this is a one or a three. So both of these are from, from lows and, me, and mediums. So this has to be high and it can't be five. So this is a six. Um, and now this one, these two both are not high because the high is here, right? So these are from one, two, three, four. That's not a four. Um, I could color this, but I may not need to. So we'll find out. Um, 
I need a four up here. I need a six up here. Okay, it's probably this sum. Let's see, these are from one, two, three. Ah, we know what these two digits are four, five. Okay, because we have this one, three pair here. Oh, this digit we know. This digit's a five for the box. These are these are one, two, three. A lot of one, two, threes in the grid here. So we know the two is one of these two for multiple reasons. Okay. Um, what can I what can I say about these lines here? So they're more Sudoku. Well, I've got a one, two, three triple here, so and a four. So these are from five, six. Oopsie. Oh, and this sees the five. So this is the six, this is the five. Okay. This is four and five. Okay, so we're getting some information here, which is that these two cells add to one more than these two cells, because the difference between the four and the five. So these two cells add to one less than these two cells, but we still don't know what that sum is. Um, these are from one, two, three, four. Oh, okay. So if these are from one, two, three, four, we are going to need a six in this column. That's a six. Remember, this has to be lower. These have to be lower than these two. So this cannot be very high. At its highest, this is a six with a three adding to nine. So this can only be a one or a two adding to the six. Um, because we can't add this, if this added to nine, then th these would add to two, uh, to not, we wouldn't be able to make these add to 10. Um, is what I'm trying to say. Oh, and that places a six here actually by Sudoku. This is one, two, or three. This is one, two, or three. Okay. Four in this column goes here. All right, we're getting some progress. That means four in this column is here. Ah, and so now we know that this is medium. So this cannot be medium, and this cannot be medium. So that's a one. And this needs to be medium, so that's a three. Okay, so that's two and three. That's three and one. That's a three. Uh, I almost did that wrong. Okay, that's one, that's two. That's a one and a two. That's one and two. That's a three. Remember, this needs to be, oh, Sudoku did it, but there's three in the corner. This needed to be one higher than this. So we got that. That's two and one, and we're done. Hey, okay, school puzzle, pal fly. Um, yeah, I just need to be a little, I needed to be a little bit more careful with noticing what, uh, like, pairs and triples I was finding. Um, I liked the I liked how the entropic lines resolved, and um, I also liked this line at the bottom here that was neat. And then also this not being able to be three, and then the fact that it was four resolved these was neat. So cool puzzle, I enjoyed that. I hope you did too, and if you did, then why not leave a like, subscribe, and a kind comment below.